No, um, there will be no Congress. There was no Congress at all in Imo State, and um, um, it's very clear that um, even the supporting documents and video shows there's no document. INEC has confirmed no document. Security agencies have confirmed. I mean, INEC has confirmed no Congress. Security agencies have confirmed no Congress. The leaders there, the National Guard Secretary has confirmed no Congress. The party chairman has spoken no Congress. And nobody came to the field. The resource sheet was missing and was traceable to the National Guard Secretary's house. And all of a sudden, the, the chairman of the panel disappeared in his house at about 6 o'clock in the evening on Saturday. So how could there have been Congress? So the matter has been investigated by the security uh, agencies to make sure it's fresh out. If all these have been established, why do you have to come all along with all your delegates? To no, I, I, didn't, I came for a different thing altogether. Okay. I, I didn't come for this matter. You don't have, you don't have, you don't have an inkling of what they said there was Congress. Okay, we can give you the uh, video where he also said there was no Congress on that day. You know, these are manipulations which doesn't yield any result. They know there's no Congress. They know the truth. You have no and they're just saying, well, it will be announced. The party has a duty to announce for the new Congress. So you have no knowledge about what, why the stakeholders are here? I have no idea. I have no idea at all whatsoever. No, no, I couldn't have been part of the meeting. Not at all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My people will think. Um, okay. Well, as you, as you can very clearly see, uh, both from our faces and from our demino, we just had what I may call a very eventful meeting with the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, we are grateful for the opportunity and the privilege of giving him the other side of the story. I think by our presentations, we have successfully deflated all the lies that have been peddled all over the country and within the state. And I think by our presentation today, I mean, I think we have been able to make it very clear that Congress actually and really held in Imo State. What did not take place in Imo State last Saturday was simply that we resisted the temptation, the intimidation, the blackmail to write the result of the Congress in a government house where it. What did not take place last week was that we said that the old have passed away and the things are going to be done anew in Imo State. In other words, not one man determined the results of the Congresses in the 305 uh, wards of the state. By that process alone, by the jubilations you see in Imo State, by the comments on the Facebook, on the social media, the congratulations that APC has been receiving, it is always, uh, you're very clear that the state APC has returned to the owners of the party. That is the people. But let me ask you, you just listened to the governor and you saw those who came with him. He's a son-in-law, former errand boy, and a, a newly recruited commissioner. But here you are. This is Imo State. And if I may take one or two minutes of your time to make this introduction. <coughs> here we have the deputy governor of the state in our midst. Here he is. We have the only elected senator of the southeast under APC here in our midst. Former speaker, House of Assembly, Imo State, four years no impeachment, and there was no threat of impeachment throughout his reign. We will have been here with the deputy speaker, who also reigned for four years without any threat of impeachment. Here we have former emeritus speaker, House of Assembly, for, four, for some time in Imo State. We have Senator Ararume. We have, uh, we have here the former secretary to the government of Imo State. And the staff. And immediate past, chief of staff. You have me, of course, former commissioner for information and strategy, a former commissioner for information and strategy. You have the chairman of the party on this side. You have the deputy chairman of the party on this side. You have 25 local government, 25 local government chairmen of the party in the state on this side. Who then remains in APC Imo State? This meeting, was it between your camp and the government? There was no camp. There was no election between camps. We only had elections within APC, within wards, within candidates, in all the 305 wards of the state. And the results are clear. We have come here, let me show you, let me show you. We have come here with CDs which were born into uh, soft copies of all the elections within the state. 
So there, 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 is, there is nothing to argue about. The only reason is that the governor had discovered that this time around, the Congress did not go his own way. It did not take place in government house. Congresses are not performed or carried out within the enclave of the government house. And let me add that we got into this situation because the, the morning of the convention of the, of, the, of the Congress, the governor hijacked the team that was coming from Anambra to conduct the election and abducted the team that was to go to Anambra State. He was the one that asked for a swap and the swap was eventually agreed to. By the time the swap was accepted, he went and hijacked them and kept this team for over uh, six, seven hours in detention, after which he got the uh, CP of the state to continue detaining members that had come for the convention. So let me assure you, the fact is that we are here because the governor did not get the materials. He wanted the materials to write the result in the same way and manner that he doesn't do due process in everything that he has done as a governor. And that is why you see all of us you know, on this side and he on that side. Because we are saying no, we will not accept the intimidation to support his son-in-law to become the next governor of Imo State. That is what is happening. We came to see the VP. I, I think it's a coincidence that we met here. We just came to see the VP. And we had a meeting with the VP. Thank you, sir. Why are you in the villa? We are leaving because we are satisfied with what we do.